Hello, I'm Suzanne Marquez. This is The Rundown. The West Hills mother accused of murder is expected in court this morning. Angela Flores will be arraigned in the deaths of her three children, ages 8, 11, and 12. Police say she admitted to killing them over the weekend and claims her 16-year-old son helped. Homicide detectives will announce a $50,000 reward today in the murder of a four-year-old. Salvador Chavita Esparza was hit and killed during a drive-by shooting as he stood in the doorway of an Altadena home back in 2016. Police say the little boy was caught in the crossfire of gang crimes. And the L.A. City Council today will consider seeking $8.45 million in funding for 10 park projects. The Safe, Clean Neighborhood Parks and Beaches measure was approved by L.A. County voters in 2016. Each grant would fund improvements and additions to existing parks. Now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with the forecast. All right, so wind advisories have now popped up and that's because we're expecting some stronger winds, especially over the mountains in our desert communities. So this is going to last until late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Just know that gusts will be anywhere about 40 to 45 miles per hour as a low pressure system to the north of us continues to push through the area. Starting tomorrow, it starts to exit out of the region. This allows a high pressure system to come in from the west and this is what's going to boost our temperatures up. So we are gearing for a big warming trend as we head toward the end of the week. Take a look at our highs for the metro areas. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 70s by tomorrow, 80s as we head toward the end of the week and into the weekend. And then a lot of places inland will be in the 90s. Thanks, Amber. Remember, we are always streaming on CBS News Los Angeles and watch anytime on our free CBS News app and Pluto TV. I'm Suzanne Marquez. Have a wonderful day.